Yo, how's it going, beautiful people? I'm Toby the Moon Man, and today I'm going to show you how I made this VHS text effect. Perfect for your next VHS styled video. But before we dive in, let me tell you about my 3D title pack. It's packed with 10 pre animated 3D titles designed for killer music videos and eye catching social media visuals. These titles not only look insanely professional and stop your audience from scrolling, but they also help you impress clients and charge what you're really worth. If you're serious about leveling up your edits and getting paid more for doing less, check it out. Link is down below. Use code MOON10 to get 10% off. Now let's get active. We're in After Effects. And if you want to get the same results as me, leave your quality here in third. I'm sorry if I sound crazy. I just started sneezing out of nowhere and now my throat is a bit sore. So bear with me. Now grab your text tool and write out your text. For this tutorial, I'll be using VCROSD Mono. If you want to use the same, just Google it. I'm going to type pandemonium. I'm not entirely sure what the word means. I think it's like chaos or something. But it sounds cool, so we're rocking with it. Okay, align the text to the center. Now I want the text looking a little thicker, so I'm going to turn on the stroke and find the value I'm comfortable with which will be 4. Next thing, click S for scale. We're going to unlink the scale values and drag the X axis up to stretch out the text. Nothing too crazy. Then we realign. Now for this effect, we will need the Sapphire plugin. Just one of those essential plugins for editors, in my opinion. So if you've been looking for a sign to get it, this is it. We're going to add on the Sapphire Flicker. I'm just going to shorten the comp. You don't need to do this bit. So what we're going to do is increase the amplitude to 0.5 for stronger flickers like so. Next, we're going to add, and by the way, this effect bar you see is a free plugin called FX Console. It's a complete game changer if you want to speed up your workflow. I cannot recommend it highly enough. I'll leave a link down below if you want it. Next, we add Sapphire Digital Damage. In a nutshell, this is what it does. Damages. That's a bit too intense, so I'll turn it down. Anything from 0.1 to 0.5 is probably okay. Okay, let's see if I can drop that a little bit more. And for the time intensity, I'll stick with something around 0.8. For the next bit, we'll be using another plugin called Signal and it really sells the VHS effects. But first, I'm going to show you how to get a result close to the VHS style if you don't have Signal and you're not planning to get it using After Effects built-in presets. We'll be using Bad TV One Warp first. This is the look we get, and if you're happy with it, great, because it's it's a pretty okay look, I guess. Then let's try old. It definitely gets us where we're going, but I'm gonna turn the TV off, turn the TV off. <laughs> All right, let's add on signal. And we're gonna do some tweaking the lower you take the signal strength the more color is gonna add it all depends on the look you want i like anything between 15 and 30. for amplification taking it up brings the colors in so anything from one to five is okay luminous gives you that like tv static the higher up you go and so we're going with it and we want to bring the chroma loss down to zero. We're effect stacking, so I think keeping it subtle is pretty important. And open up Luma modulation and turn the tape arrows off. Next up, we're gonna add sapphire warp waves. Amplit, am, this word always gets me. We're changing, we're changing the amplitude. But <laughs> values to 0 0.002 frequency take that baby up up to 188 and change the angle to 90 that gets you those sweet mini lines now add on another signal and this is what it looks like now pretty vhsc if i do say so myself let's add on an s shake and as you can see way too much shake 
so now take the arm um, take take that take that one down to 0 0.007 we're trying to make the shake super low key so we've been using the sapphire plug so it only makes sense that we use the fish eye from sapphire right put that on change the amount to like uh, 0 0.2 but for some reason i prefer the after effects native warp let me show you what i mean change the style to fish eye and bend to like a 35 i know i'm tripping and i know there's probably no difference but if it i choose the warp and that's our vhs effect but but trying to figure out why i prefer the warp i stumbled on this so let me turn the warp off and turn on the fish eye in z distort take it up as high as you want to go now to animate it create a keyframe on shift x or y go to the end and just drag change the amount back to one depending on the lick you want to go for and now you have a multi moving vhs tech like i'm really bad at naming things like so yeah thank you for making it to the end of the video you being here means my dad is wrong and i am not wasting my life <laughs> if this video provided you with any value consider subscribing and let's make more content together baby Tell me if there's any tutorial you want to see down in the comments and see in the next one, Chief.